So, now the Storm Terror threat is behind us, what are your plans for the next step? Paimon thinks it's time to leave Monsta and keep looking through the Seven Nations until we find clues about his sister. Huh, really? Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye for now. Hey, don't feel down. You'll always be a friend of the Knights of Avonius and our honorary knight. Wherever you may go and wherever the wind may blow. That's the spirit. Remember, Mondstadt will always welcome you. All right, now let's eat before it gets cold. Recommendations are worth the wait. Of course. Well, I don't trust myself in the kitchen. You can always trust me with the menu. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Jean's waiting for you at the cathedral. It's something to do with the Holy Lair de Himmel. You'd better head there now. This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the holy lyre de Hamil. May the Animo Archon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting Grand Master, but I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? We cannot ask you to keep defending the liar forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. We, uh, did bring it with us. Um, it's just, it's a little... Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. for the rest of my life. It would still not be enough. <sighs> oh, give it here. But you'll never touch the liar again! We 
uh, really should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. What? <laughs> you told that part! <laughs> hey, don't go! flesh <laughs> scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers monstad calls this a god resident rodent beats invasive vermin <laughs> don't you dare speak back to me insolent bard absentee archon of monstad how impotent you've become that smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? <clears throat> Should have held your tongue. <sighs> so, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. This is the first time I've encountered such a patient, but he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Already? Where'd he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean, uh, I, I mean, Master Jean, said to let him leave. How strange. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the Animal Archon. Master Jean has figured it out as well, but we can't tell Barbara. 